The Avengers arrive in the vicinity of the destroyed base of the villain's clique. The Widow says that the coordinates of this place were provided by the S.H.I.E.L.D. The Captain says that this is the first mention of the clique since she took possession of the Tesseract. Iron Man scans the area with infrared sensors from the air. Modok, Hyperion, and Atuma teleport to the base. Modok orders Hyperion to pick up the Iridium hidden at the base. Hyperion says he hears something. Atuma says it's all stupid fears. Hyperion catches an arrow near Atuma's face. The arrow explodes and blinds the villains. The Avengers break into the base. The Hulk beats Hyperion. Thor attacks Atuma. Modok opens a portal and summons the warriors of Atlantis. Stark orders the Falcon to attack from the flank. The Captain tries to warn Tony against such a step. Hyperion beats the Hulk and the Green Giant crashes into the Flying Falcon. They break through the wall of the base and fall into the gorge. Modok opens the portal and leaves with the rest of the villains and warriors. The Wounded Falcon is brought to the Avengers Tower and placed in the infirmary. Stark resigns his authority as the leader of the Avengers. He asks the captain to lead the team. An alarm sounds. Jarvis reports that he was hacked. Justin Hammer appears on the monitors in front of the Avengers. He panics. An adaptoid broke into his factory and steals weapons. Tony stays in the tower to monitor Sam's condition. The captain and the others, they go to the rescue of the Hummer. The Avengers arrive at the scene. Thor breaks the entrance so that no one escapes. The captain orders the widow to disarm the Modok soldiers. Hawkeye neutralizes the Technopath himself. Modok uses the power of the Tesseract and creates a huge robot. The robot knocks down the Hulk and Thor. The captain orders the widow to deal with the robot and Modok. Natasha jumps on the robot and his weapon shoots at him. The robot falls apart. Modok escapes into the portal and takes the hammer's weapon. The Avengers fly on an Avenger and talk to Tony via video link. He tells them the current location of the Modok in the Arizona desert. A rocket hits the plane. The engine lights up. The Widow barely holds the steering wheel. The Hulk points to a huge red skull device in the middle of the desert. The skull shoots at the Avenger. The Avengers jump out of the burning plane. The Captain orders the Widow and Hawkeye will destroy the Skull's weapons, Hulk and Thor will restrain Atuma and Hyperion, and the Captain himself will deal with Modok soldiers and vampires. The Hulk is preparing to fight with Atuma, but then Thor arrives and hammers the Lord of Atlantis into the ground. The Hulk advises Thor to look to the left. He turns his head and is knocked down by Hyperion. The Skull orders not to let the Avengers near the device until it is fully charged. The Captain contacts Tony and explains the situation to him. Tony says that he contacted the S.H.I.E.L.D. and they will help contain the threat while he understands the Skull plan. The Captain says that they need Iron Man on the battlefield. The Falcon comes to his senses. He is going to fly to help his friends. Stark dresses the Falcon in a new suit. Sam asks Tony to fly with him, but Stark refuses, saying that today he is only a coordinator. He considers himself a burden for the Avengers. Sam says that the team needs Tony Stark, Iron Man, everything. Sam is flying away. The Skull shouts that the Tesseract is awakening. The Captain orders Barton to climb up and destroy the Tesseract. Thor raises the archer to the artifact. Barton shoots, but the falcon that appeared knocks down the arrows, saying that Tony has asked not to break the skull machine yet. The machine of the Red Skull opens portals to other worlds. The skull says that each member of the clique will get a whole world to conquer. Dracula a world where the sun never rises. For Atuma a world covered with water. For Hyperion an advanced civilization. Modok Skull gives Asgard. The captain orders the Avengers to hold the line and keep the villains out of the portals. The captain fights with Dracula and his vampires. Hyperion is stopped by the Hulk. He stuns the villain with blows to the head. Thor blocks Modok's path. Thor destroys the Adaptoid with one blow. An angry Modok directs the Skull Machine at the Avengers, but the Skull forbids it. Stark and a lot of his suits arrive. The Skull shoots at one of the suits, but it turns out to be empty. Stark's suits help the Avengers in battle. Stark explains the Skull's plan to everyone. As soon as the villain steps into the portal, the Tesseract will destroy him. Tony in an invisibility suit grabs the Skull and imprints it into the tank with the Tesseract. 
Tony shoots from the repulsor on his chest. An explosion is heard. The skull machine is damaged and burns. Tony lifts Stark off the ground. The skull comes to and puts the tesseract in his suit. The skull absorbs the energy of the skull and soars into the night sky. The skull machine collapses. The wreckage threatens to sink the Avengers and the clique under it. Tony suggests that the villains unite to destroy the skulls together. Modok transfers the villains and heroes to the Avengers Tower. Tony again suggests joining forces, but Hyperion attacks the Avengers and a fight begins. Hulk fights Hyperion, Thor with Atuma, Hawkeye shoots an arrow for with an arrow to Dracula. The Widow jumps on Modok. She says that he could have left the Avengers to die, but for some reason he saved them. The Widow and Modok teleport. The captain leads Tony down the corridor of the tower. Stark's chest is damaged. Jarvis manages to restore the reactor in Tony's chest. The captain says that Tony needs to put on a suit, but all the costumes were destroyed in the battle with the skull. The captain is sure that Stark will come up with something and runs away. Tony controls the iron manipulators. He shackles Atuma and brings him to the reactor. Atuma loses consciousness. Dracula grabs the Falcon and Barton. At this moment, Tony turns on the fluorescent lights. Dracula's clothes start burning. Hyperion fights with the Hulk. The villain punches the Hulk in the face and blinds with a shot of lasers from his eyes. At this moment, Tony says over the speakerphone that he downloaded the combat protocols of his armor from the tower interface. Now the whole tower is his suit. The manipulator grabs Hyperion and throws him into a water tank. Icy air comes from the ventilation and Hyperion turns into an ice statue. The villains are locked in cells. Barton says that they could not find only Modok. Tony says that Modok and the Widow are not in the tower. The Falcon is trying to track where they teleported to. But Stark says that there is a more serious problem. The Red Skull is attacking New York and Europe and Asia. The Skull using the Tesseract is everywhere. Stark remains to defend New York. The rest of the Avengers go to different cities of the world. Thor attacks the Skulls in Stockholm, Barton in Brazil, the Hulk in Cairo. The Captain protects Sydney. The Avengers successfully destroy the Skull robots but the villain himself is too strong. The skull blinds the Falcon's eye, then teleports Thor's hammer to an unknown direction. The villain breaks the Falcon's wings and Sam falls into the ocean. The captain in Australia rushes at the skulls, but he destroys the captain's shield with the power of space and Steve falls into the sea. And Cairo the skull deprives the Hulk of reason and when he falls into a mad rage, transfers him and everyone the Avengers to New York. Thor knocks down the uncontrollable Hulk. The Falcon sits on Barton's flying motorcycle and takes the blinded archer away from the Hulk. The captain informs Tony that they need a plan. Tony frees the villains of the clique. Dracula, Hyperion, and Atuma appear in Central Park next to the Avengers. The villains rush at the skulls. He is stunned at first by this attack, but quickly recovers and throws the villains to the ground. Hyperion says that now is the best time to destroy the Avengers, but Atuma suggests dealing with the Skull first. The villains attack their former leader again. Tony asks the captain to remind the Hulk who he really is. Thor briefly restrains the Hulk, and the captain orders the Hulk to stop fighting. The Hulk regains consciousness. The Hulk rushes at the Skulls and throws him to the ground. The Skull escapes through the portal. The Widow gets in touch and says that Modok told her how to close the portals of the Skull. She downloads the data and programs Barton's arrows. The Skull reappears over the park, but Hawkeye closes his portals one by one, preventing the villain from escaping. Captain America swoops on the Skulls and drops him to the ground. The Hulk, Thor, Atuma, and Hyperion are holding the Skulls. Dracula is preparing to drink his blood and make him his slave. But the captain stops him. The skull shoots a beam from his chest. The Avengers pull the villains away and save their lives. The skull takes off again, but his suit suddenly falls apart. Modok and Stark arrive. Modok returns Tony his armor. The skull holds in the hands of the Tesseract. He opens the portals behind the Avengers. The skull triumphs, but the hammer returns to Thor from the portal. Thor throws the hammer at the skulls and the villain drops the Tesseract. The Skull and the Tesseract fly into the portal. 
Maddox says that the clique will destroy the Avengers another time and teleport with the rest of the villains. Burden regains his sight. He asks where the Widow is. Tony and the Captain say it's secret. The Widow informs Fury that the Skull and the Tesseract are in another dimension. In the depths of space, the Skull transmits the Tesseract to Thanos. Thor and Hulk are fighting a giant monster in the snowy mountains. Their actions are coordinated by Stark from the Avengers Tower. The Hulk jumps up and hits the monster in the jaw. The monster falls. The Hulk high-fives Thor. Tony watches Captain America and the Falcon deal with Hydra soldiers and their heavy laser cannon. The heroes destroy dangerous weapons and Stark switches at Barton and the Widow. They fly in Natasha's car and shoot back at Modok soldiers. Tony ends the communication. Session, Jarvis advises Tony to find a hobby. Stark shows Jarvis his father's notes in the Arsenal Project Records folder. Jarvis reports that an armed alien ship has entered the atmosphere. Tony rushes to intercept. He sees the ship, but alien fighters begin to attack it. Stark commands a general gathering of the Avengers. Iron Man is attacked by fighters. Jarvis reports that the ships do not belong to any of the alien races known to him. There are no living organisms on the fighters. These are drones. The Avengers arrive and destroy the drones one by one. A civilian plane will fall under drone fire, but Thor and Tony manage to land it safely. Tony informs the Avengers that the flagship was the first to appear. The Falcon reports that there is biological activity on it. The captain says that the ship is not attacking, but running away. Tony grabs the hull of the ship, but the drones attack him. The ship explodes. The Falcon analyzes the wreckage and says that most of the hull was not damaged and the passenger could to survive. Stark asks Thor to get a drone sample to study. After analyzing the drone fragment, Tony calculates the location of the ship's hull. The Avengers arrive there and open the ship. Inside they find a frightened Red Skull. The Skull is afraid of a mad titan named Thanos. The Avengers are attacked by drones. Robots land from aircraft and attack the heroes. Stark shoots one of the robots with a repulsor, but cannot damage it. On the robot the Hulk jumps, but he puts up a protective field and throws the Hulk away. The robot beats off Thor's hammer and shoots the Thunder God with a laser. The captain covers the skulls. He notices a strange box in the hands of the skull. A red stone falls out of the box. The captain takes it in his hand and starts screaming in pain. He is overwhelmed with power. The captain sees Thanos. Waves of power radiate from the red stone. They destroy robots and drones. The captain throws a stone. He does not let the widow take the stone and puts it back in the box. Thor informs that it is a power stone, one of six stones forged from an unknown substance. The Falcon informs that another batch of drones is on the way. The Avengers take the skulls and fly away. In the Avenger, Tony talks about the Arsenal project. He wants to use the power stone to launch it, but the problem is that Stark does not know where the Arsenal is. The Widow says she knows the place indicated in Tony's father's records. The Avengers are flying to Russia. They arrive in the city of the Lost Forest. There was a, a gamma energy leak. On the spot, Tony realizes that the arsenal has absorbed all the energy of the gamma explosion. A huge ship arrives to the city. Drones attack the Avengers, Hulk, Thor, and the captain engage in battle and smash the drones one by one. Tony Widow, Barton, and Skull enter the hall with a gamma reactor. Inside, they, they see the arsenal robot. Tony hands the Power Stone to the Hulk and asks him to deliver it to the Arsenal. The Hulk manages a second before the explosion. The Hulk activates the Arsenal and it absorbs all the Gamma energy. The Captain asks for support. Tony activates the Arsenal battle mode and orders to destroy the invaders. The Arsenal takes off and attacks a huge ship. The Avengers join the attack. The ship falls to the ground. The Avengers return to the tower. Arsenal updates the interface and informs that energy storage is his secondary function, and the main one is to be Tony Stark's friend. Tony's father created Arsenal as a friend and defender for his son. Tony and Arsenal go to play baseball. In the Lost Forest, Thanos gets out of the burning ship. He hits the ground with his fist and the buildings around begin to collapse. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is important to me. Iron Man and Arsenal are flying in the sky. The Falcon says that their task is to stop the Grim Reaper, a villain who has infiltrated a military base. Arsenal blows up a car thrown at them. 
and he and Tony land next to the Reaper. The Reaper knocks Stark down with an energy charge. Tony breaks through several walls, but Arsenal catches him. The Reaper launches a rocket into the Avengers Tower. The Falcon warns that the rocket will destroy not only the tower, but also half of the city. Captain America orders Thor to stop the rocket. Stark orders Arsenal to fly after the rocket too. The robot throws Tony to the ground and flies away. Stark remains waiting for his armor to restart. Thor catches up with the rocket and changes its course. The Falcon says that the rocket can explode if you change the direction of flight. The rocket explodes. The Captain and the Falcon see a bright flash on the screen. Thor saves the arsenal that arrived. It absorbs the energy of the explosion. Iron Man neutralizes the Reaper with a shot. In the tower, Thor and Hulk praise Arsenal and invite him to participate in a friendly sparring match. Fury contacts the captain and shows him the destroyed city. The widow interrogates the Red Skull. She realizes that Thanos is looking for the five Infinity Stones. The Observer is sitting on his lunar base. Thanos breaks into the base and attacks the Observer. Tony and the Falcon simulate Arsenal's use of the Power Stone. Tony says that Arsenal cannot control the Power Stone, but can restrain its power. Arsenal shows Tony holographic recordings from Howard Stark. Tony's father informs that Arsenal transfers energy to a parallel universe, but if he returns it, it will destroy him. A fireball flies into the Avengers Tower. It's an observer. The Avengers find out that Thanos is on the moon and go there. On the approach to the moon, a meteorite crashes into the Mstigit. The ship falls to the surface of the moon. Thanos finds a casket in which there was a power stone, but it is empty. Thanos falls into the Avengers' trap. The Avengers arrive on the second Avenger. Tony asks Arsenal to stay away from Thanos. Thanos cannot destroy the force field. He offers the Avengers to give the Power Stone and then he will not destroy the Earth. The Avengers reject his offer. Thanos grabs Thor and the Hulk and destroys the force field. The Avengers rush to attack. Thanos throws Iron Man and he falls to the Observer base. The arsenal flies behind him. Thor's hammer cannot to harm the Titan. Hawkeye's arrows also do not cause harm. Thanos is attacked by Captain America. The Titan grabs his leg and throws him at the Falcon. At the Observer's base, Arsenal offers Tony to use the Power Stone against Thanos, but Stark does not want the explosion to destroy half of the moon. He asks the Observer to let him use his technology to concentrate the energy of the stone. Thanos beats up the Captain, Thor, and the Hulk. The Captain sends Barton and the Widow to Stark. Tony wants to assemble an installation of Observer Crystals so that Arsenal can use the Power Stone. Thor throws a hammer at Thanos, but misses. The Titan tries to lift Mjolnir, but cannot. Then he grabs Thor and starts hitting the hammer with it. The Falcon finds information about Thanos. Tony and Arsenal assemble a setup for using the Power Stone, but then Thanos breaks into the Observer's base. The installation is almost ready. The Avengers throw crystals to Tony. He collects the setup and passes it to Arsenal. The robot shoots Thanos. An explosion is heard. Thanos uses the Infinity Glove and takes the Power Stone from Arsenal's chest. Thanos drops the robot and flies away. The Falcon reports that it is impossible to destroy the Infinity Stone. To destroy the Infinity Gauntlet requires huge energy. Arsenal says that he has accumulated such an amount of energy. Tony does not want the Arsenal to be destroyed by this energy, but the Avengers have no other choice. The Avengers put on the armor of the Titans. They attack Thanos flying to Earth. But even the weapons of the Titans cannot stop Thanos. The Falcon informs the arsenal of the desired energy output frequency. Thanos breaks the Avengers. He is attacked by Iron Man. Thanos only laughs. But the arsenal releases energy. A huge bright flash appears in space. Thanos disappears into the depths of space. The Observer finds the arsenal head. Tony brings Arsenal's head to the Avengers Tower. He wants to restore his father's gift. The Avengers are being interviewed in their tower. 
the journalist asks them questions about the day of the Avengers, which was established by the mayor. The Avengers were given the key to the city. The Hulk declares that he is the strongest of the Avengers, but then Thor says that he is the strongest. The Hulk knocks Thor down and they fly out into the street together. Breaking through the wall of the tower, Thor and the Hulk fall to the ground and continue to fight. The journalist approaches the mirror, and the reflection it is seen that she is. Thor's brother Loki, Loki uses a rune and summons lightning. Lightning strikes the helicopter and it falls right on the crowd of onlookers at the tower. Iron Man tries to stop the fall, but a lightning bolt throws him off. Thor and the Hulk rush at each other. The helicopter will fall from above. Hulk catches a helicopter and puts it on the ground. Tony Tony arrives. He is unhappy with the behavior of the team members. Loki appears under the guise of a journalist. He provokes Thor and he hits the Hulk with his hammer. The Hulk flies over buildings and falls in the park. Thor arrives there and hits the Hulk with a hammer, but he grabs Thor's weapon. Stark arrives and the rest of the Avengers, they try to stop the fight. But the journalist with the camera says that it's time to finally find out who is stronger than the Hulk or Thor. Thor asks Heimdall to open a portal to Asgard. A rainbow bridge appears. Loki changes the destination with the help of Arun and orders the bridge to move Thor and his rival to Valhalla. The Hulk Thor hits and he disappears into the portal. The Hulk hurries after him. The Avengers realize that the journalist is not the one Hawkeye is shooting at her. But Loki repels the arrow and takes his true form and hides in the portal. Loki arrives in Valhalla and appears before Hela, the ruler of this world. He offers her to watch the duel of the two strongest heroes. Thor and the Hulk are fighting in the arena. Thor realizes that they are not in Asgard, but the Hulk does not want to listen to him. He spins Thor, holding his cloak and throws him into the wall of the arena. Loki asks Hela to give him her hunting horn in exchange for the opportunity to watch the battle of the Hulk and Thor forever. In New York, the Avengers are trying to open a portal and go after friends. A portal opens and Hela's dead warriors come out of it. They are commanded by Loki. The Avengers engage in battle. They destroy a lot of dead warriors, but there are too many of them. Jarvis informs Stark that Loki controls the army with Hela's hunting horn. In Valhalla, Thor and the Hulk see a portal to Earth into which an army of the dead is marching. They try to return, but the portal throws them away. Hela appears and says she wants to watch their fight. The Hulk rushes at her. Hela touches the Hulk and he falls to the ground and turns into an ordinary person. Hela says that she just brought the Hulk's death closer. She returns his strength to the Hulk and says that the loser in their fight with Thor will be able to return to Earth. The winner will remain in her kingdom. Thor offers the Hulk to succumb to him and return home. But the Hulk beats him and rushes into battle, shouting that he is the strongest. The Falcon and the Captain attack Loki, but he dodges their blows. Iron Man fires missiles at Loki. He falls to the ground. Stark shoots him with a repulsor. Loki attacks with lightning from his staff in response. Hal and Thor are fighting in Valhalla. Hela is watching the fight. Hulk presses Thor to a rock. Hela says that this battle exceeds all her expectations and that Loki managed to please her. Thor throws the Hulk away with a kick. He understands that Hela gave Loki the horn and the army of the dead in exchange for one of them. The Avengers smash the last skeleton and stand in the middle of a pile of bones. Stark tells Loki that it's over. But Loki uses the horn to create a huge skeleton warrior from the bones. The monster walks through the city to the Avengers Tower. The Falcon and Barton attack the monster, but he restores all the damage. In Valhalla, Thor tells Hela that Loki defeated both him and the Hulk and herself because he left her without an army and an empty kingdom. Hela becomes enraged. A giant skeleton walks through the streets of the city. Barton shoots him in the leg with explosive arrows. The widow jumps off a flying motorcycle and jumps right into the hole that has formed. She finds herself inside the monster. She sets bombs in his leg. The leg falls apart. The falcon picks up Natasha. Loki blows the horn again, but he is knocked down by the widow, the monster kneeling. A portal opens in the sky and the Hulk and Thor fall on the monster. They knock it to the ground. Thor uses lightning and blows the skeleton's head off. 
The portal opens and Hela takes the horn from Loki. The Avengers are preparing to attack Loki, but Thor and Hulk say that this is their battle. They attack Loki. He repels their attacks and hits them with the lightning of their staff. Hela watches the battle. The captain wants to intervene, but Stark stops him, who understands the friend's plan. Thor and Hulk ask for mercy from Loki and admit defeat. Loki triumphs, but suddenly Hela says that Loki is a great warrior and he deserves a place in Valhalla. She blows the horn and restores the skeleton monster who grabs Loki and takes him to the portal. Hulk and Thor go for a snack. Falcon and Captain America are flying to the shield base, which was captured by Hydra agents. They want to detonate bombs there. Tony asks if his friends need reinforcements, but the captain says that maybe this is just a trick to weaken the protection of the skull. The heroes fly up to the base. The Winter Soldier is watching them from the cliff. The Falcon and the captain break into the base. Cap finds a bomb. The Falcon fights with the soldiers. A robot grabs him tears off his wings and throws him into a hole in the wall. The captain wearing the falcon's wings saves Sam. He also tied the bomb to his flying motorcycle. The bomb explodes far over the ocean. The captain says he wouldn't let another soldier die. Returning to the falcon tower, he asks the captain to become his mentor, but he refuses. Tony asks the falcon to help him with the restoration of the arsenal. The Winter Soldier breaks into the protective systems of the Avengers Tower and gets inside. Tony tells the Falcon that the Widow has information about Captain Bucky Barnes' previous partner. The Falcon leaves. The Winter Soldier throws an electric bracelet at Tony. Stark falls to the floor. In the living room, Barton argues with Thor that he will get a pee in the nose of the Sleeping Hulk. The pee flies off the walls and flies right into the nostril of the Sleeping Giant. The Hulk jumps up and throws the sofa into the TV. The Winter Soldier throws a grenade with sleeping gas. The three Avengers fall asleep. The Falcon comes to the Widow, who interrogates the Skulls. Natasha says that Bucky fell into the hands of the Skull, and he turned him into a killer named Winter Soldier. The alarm goes off. The Widow and the Falcon escape. The Winter Soldier frees the Skulls. Natasha and Sam resort to the Captain, he says that most of the cameras are disabled and the rest of the Avengers are unconscious. He turns on the camera from the prison block. The skull chamber is empty. The captain and the others see the Avenger fly out of the tower. The plane turns around and opens fire on the tower. Stark enters the living room. The captain informs him that the Avenger was hijacked. Tony puts on armor and rushes in pursuit of the plane. Tony asks the widow to wake up the rest of the Avengers the captain is going to find the one who got into the tower. The Falcon wants to go with him, but the captain refuses to help. The Widow wakes up the Hulk, Thor, and Barton with an electric shock. Tony conducts a dogfight with Mstigit. He manages to punch a hole in the skin. The Falcon penetrates the Mstigit and reports that it is empty. Tony orders the remote control to be turned off. Mstigit returns to the tower with Tony and the Falcon. The Winter Soldier leads the Skulls through the tunnels under the tower. Captain America catches up with them. He says that only the Skull knows how to prevent a threat to the planet and asks them to let him go. The Captain raises his hands, but the Winter Soldier shoots him in the chest. The Soldier raises the Skulls and jumps into a passing train. The train comes out of the tunnel. The Soldier ties the prisoner to the cable lowered from the drone. Then the Captain attacks him. The Winter Soldier and the Captain fight on the roof of the train. The passengers are scared by what is happening on the roof. Bucky throws Steve and takes off with the skull. He shoots at the rails in front of the train. The Captain orders the driver to stop the train. The Falcon picks up the Captain. Barton shoots arrows with cables at the tail of the train. Hulk and Thor slow down the train. Iron Man does not let the first car fall off the bridge. The Falcon discovers the location of the Red Skull, and the Avengers go there. The Winter Soldier launches several missiles in different directions. The Avengers need to destroy each. The Falcon shoots down the first rocket. Hal and Thor deal with the other. Hawkeye shoots down another one with an energy crossbow. The Captain and the Falcon chase the rocket flying to the base where they created the Winter Soldier. Hulk and Thor destroy two more missiles. The Captain jumps on the rocket and freeze the chain skull the captain is attacked by the winter soldier they fight standing on the rocket 
The soldier throws the skulls inside the rocket. The captain and the winter soldier grappling also fall inside the rocket. Iron Man, Hulk and Thor shoot down the remaining three missiles. The captain and Bucky fight inside rockets. Bucky knocks the captain off his feet. He says that there are 27 seconds left before the explosion and jumps out of the rocket. The captain pulls the skulls out. The falcon that arrived in time directs the rocket into the ocean and takes the captain and the skulls away. In the Avengers Tower, the captain asks the falcon to become his partner and help capture the Hydra base in Belarus. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is important to me. The Widow and Hawkeye are watching a couple of tourists. She tells Barton that they are Hydra agents. Natasha stops the couple in an alley and demands to give the parcel. The tourists drop their disguise and turn out to be robots. They attack the Widow and Hawkeye with laser beams from their eyes. Barton shoots explosive arrows at them. Natasha neutralizes the robots with electricity. In a suitcase, the Widow finds a crown in the form of a snake. She says that Hydra does not sell relics. They are only interested in weapons. In the Avengers Tower, Tony is trying to repair the arsenal. The Widow contacts him and asks for information about the crown found. Tony says that it is an object of ancient power and its origin is unknown. Hawkeye says that Thor is fighting a huge robot and he wants to help. But Tony orders him and the Widow to take care of the crown. Natasha believes what you need to find out who you were going to sell the crown to. The deal should take place on a cruise liner. There are tickets in the suitcase. Barton and Natasha change clothes and climb onto the ship under the guise of tourists. Clint is having a great time and having fun. Natasha is trying to figure out a spy. The Avengers are fighting giant robots on the streets of the city. The Hulk destroys one. Captain America damages the skin of the second and the Falcon blows up the robot. Thor strikes the third with lightning. Iron Man uses a repulsor and destroys the giant machine. Natasha and Clint meet with the buyer. He takes the crown and uses poison gas to kill the agents. Natasha and Clint rush in pursuit of the buyer. He turns off the disguise and turns out to be a resident of Atlantis. The Atlantean jumps into the ocean. Natasha believes that they missed him. But Clint took diving suits with him. Barton and Natasha dive into the water and chase the crown thief. The Atlantean passes the crown to Lady Zartra, Atuma's advisor. Zartra puts on the crown and summons Giganto, a huge sea monster. Giganto pulls Hawkeye into his mouth. The Widow informs the Avengers that Barton is dead. Iron Man and the others rush to Natasha. The Widow knocks the crown off Zartra's head and fights with her. Zartra throws Natasha onto the rocks and puts the crown back on. She orders Giganto to swallow the Widow, but the Avengers arrive on time. Thor throws a hammer at the monster. The Hulk punches him. Tony, he says that he fixes Barton's vital signs. Thor unclenches Giganto's jaws. The Hulk hits the monster in the stomach. Giganto is sick, and he spits out Hawkeye. Barton knocks the crown off Zartra's head with a shot. Giganto attacks the Hulk. Zartra wants to grab the crown again, but the Widow throws it away with a kick. Zartra asks the Avengers to give her the crown so she can overthrow Atuma. Barton says he trusts the Widow's instincts, so it's up to her. The Widow orders the Avengers not to attack. The Hulk asks to recall Giganto. Natasha is going to hand over the crown to Zartra. But a sea eel intercepts her. Atuma appears with his warriors and takes the crown. He puts on the crown. Now he controls Giganto. Atuma orders his warriors to attack the Avengers. The fight begins. The Avengers fight with Atuma's warriors. Thor throws a hammer in Giganto. The Hulk fights Atuma. The Lord of Atlantis is stronger than the Hulk when in his element. Barton uses ultrasonic arrows and directs Giganto at Atuma. The monster knocks Atuma down and the crown falls from his head. Barton picks up the crown and passes it to Zartra, who wants to kill Atuma, but the widow stops her. Hawkeye throws a trident and chains Atuma to a rock. The Avengers want to take Atuma to the surface. Zartra says that the crown is too powerful a weapon and throws her into the abyss. The Avengers return to the tower. The Widow believes that someone can find the crown even in the depths of the ocean. Hawkeye says that he managed to fish and gives Tony the crown. The Avengers are on a flying shield aircraft carrier. 
Tony wants to use satellites to determine the location of the five infinity stones that fell to Earth after the crash of the Red Skull ship. Kyle Richmond, the SHIELD's director of interstellar operations, arrives on the bridge. Richmond offers the Falcon to leave the Avengers and join his team. Tony says that having all five stones Thanos could destroy the whole galaxy. Fury says that Tony should find these stones before anyone else. The aircraft carrier shakes and begins to fall on Chicago. The control systems are disabled and the Avengers need to start them manually. Tony sends the Hulk and Thor to the right engine. Hawkeye must find a vantage point to coordinate the actions of the team. The captain and the widow take control of the ship. Tony is going to repair the aircraft carrier. The Falcon remains alone on the bridge. Hulk and Thor spin the engine blades. Stark manages to start the control system. The aircraft carrier lands hard on the water. Fury informs the Avengers that the accident on the aircraft carrier is a diversion. Richmond says that the cameras did not record anything, but the Falcon replies that he opened the records incorrectly. Richmond again offers Sam to join his squad. Because the Avengers are doing great without the Falcon, the Falcon manages to detect the intruder. In the tower, Tony tries to find data about the intruder in the database, but there are no coincidences. Sam comes to him and asks why he is in the Avengers. Tony replies that the Falcon knows everything perfectly well. An alarm sounds. The city is being attacked by Hydra robots. The Avengers are rushing to the scene. Robots are attacking the Museum of History. There is an old Hydra storage under the museum. One of the robots opens the vault. There are ancient rooms inside. Thor and Hulk break into the vault. The robot attaches one of the rooms to a magnetic device and throws it into Thor's hammer. The Hulk rushes at the robot and blows it. The room opens a portal and Thor disappears into it. On the surface, the Widow and the Captain destroy the Hydra robots. Natasha understands that something is wrong. The actions of robots are not similar to the tactics of Hydra. The Avengers destroy the robots. Pink liquid flows out of the robots. All the Avengers are smeared with it. Tony says that it is harmless to ordinary people. The Falcon says that the liquid acts on gamma irradiated. The Hulk gets out of the vault. He giggles, then hugs Barton and falls asleep on the asphalt. Natasha says that her earphone is malfunctioning. She hears the word Sambuka and immediately falls asleep. The captain picks her up. Sokol says that Vova heard the code word and now won't wake up until she hears the word to wake up. Sam says that someone is removing the Avengers one by one. On the roof of the building, a man in a black suit with wings is standing and aiming at the Avengers. Sam says that when he was a S.H.I.E.L.D. cadet, he developed a plan to neutralize the Avengers, the man in. Black fires a rocket at the Avengers. Hawkeye tries to release an arrow, but it explodes and stuns him. The Falcon deflects the rocket and it crashes into the building, disabling their all electricity. Iron Man inspects the roof, but the villain has already escaped. The Falcon says that the rocket should have turned off Tony's armor. Thor enters the realm of the Demon Surtur and prepares to fight him. The villain Black Hawk penetrates the Avengers Tower. In the tower, Tony tries to create an antidote to wake up the Hulk. He asks Jarvis to help, but Jarvis is disabled. A portal opens and Thor flies into the tower head over heels. The portal opens again and drags Thor away. Sam says that Fury instructed him to develop a plan to eliminate each Avenger, and now someone has stolen his plan and is using it against the team. Sam says that against Iron Man he offered to use a spray with nanobugs to close the suit chip. Stark throws off his armor. A grenade can be used against the captain, which resonates with his shield and enclosing the captain in an impenetrable cocoon. The captain decides to leave his shield. Sam turns on Jarvis and he informs that there is an outsider in the tower and he is hunting for the Alio Cube. Stark believes that this is Hyperion, who needs the Alio Cube to build his fortress. Stark takes the cube out of the safe. A Black Hawk bursts into the room and shoots an energy beam at Stark. The reactor in Tony's chest turns into an electromagnet and begins to attract all the metal in the room. The Falcon says that Tony must stop the reactor. The captain attacks the Nighthawk. He throws the captain aside and takes the Alio Cube. 
the hawk raises the shield and throws it at the falcon. The captain intercepts the shield. An explosion is heard and the captain finds himself in an energy trap. Hawk launches a cube into the sea and the citadel of Hyperion rises from the bottom. Hawk says that this warship can destroy any city. If people do not submit to it, it will destroy New York. Hawk brings the Falcon to the Citadel. He says that he was the commander of Hyperion and the rest of his squad will arrive on Earth soon. Hawk needs Sam to track the Infinity Stones. Hawk takes off his mask and it turns out it's Kyle Richmond. The Falcon frees himself from the ropes and attacks the Hawk. He manages to pin the villain with the head of one of the statues. The Falcon tries to disable the Citadel's weapons, but the Hawk swoops on him again. The Avengers appear and attack the Hawk. Tony says that Sam managed to restore Jarvis and he found a way to revive everyone. The Avengers attack the Black Hawk. The Hulk bursts into the Citadel. Thor appears from the portal. The Falcon shouts that Thor needs to destroy the rune. The Hulk hits the hammer with his fist and destroys the magic stone. Stark shoots the Hawk and throws it away. Thor and the Hulk destroy the Citadel and destroy the main engine of the ship. The Citadel's weapons cease to function. The Falcon knocks out the Hawk with a punch. In the tower, the Avengers congratulate the Falcon on the anniversary of being in the team. Hyperion bursts into the Black Hawk cell on the S.H.I.E.L.D. aircraft carrier and frees his commander. Hawk says it's time to assemble their team. Fury watches powerlessly as the villains fly away. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is important to me. Tony Stark, Captain America, and the Falcon head to the Red Skull cell. Tony wants to ask the prisoner about the Infinity Stones. The captain considers this idea pointless. The skull draws incomprehensible symbols on the wall of his cell. Stark examines them and leaves, saying that the skull gave him everything he needed. The Avengers are flying on the Avenger. Stark explains that the skull and his scribbles indicated the name of all five Infinity Stones, and now the Avengers are flying to the Time Stone. The Avenger freezes in the place indicated by Tony. The Time Stone appears on the open palm of the Iron Man and flies into his chest. Tony falls into the ocean. Thor rushes after him. A pterodactyl grabs Hawkeye. A portal opens in the sky from which other lizards fly. Thor picks up Tony at the water's edge. The rest of the Avengers fight with pterodactyl Thor throws Stark aboard the Avenger. An orange flash bursts out of Iron Man's chest and the dinosaurs disappear. Tony believes he has opened. A crack in the fabric of time. Tony cannot reboot the suit. Barton notices that Tony's voice has changed. The Avengers return to the tower. Jarvis reports that the armor is fully functional, but it does not recognize the signature of Tony's body. Stark asks the Hulk to tear off his faceplate. The Hulk rips off the mask from the suit. It turns out that the Time Stone turned Tony into a teenager. The Falcon says that with every flash something from the past gets into their time. The Avengers see on the screen that dinosaurs are walking the streets of the city. The Avengers are fighting dinosaurs. Batten saves people on the bus. The dinosaur growls at the Hulk. He growls in response and the lizard runs away. Thor is delighted with the battle. He asks the captain if it is possible to wait with the extraction of the Time Stone. The captain and Tony are in the tower. Stark is trying to put on his armor, but he is electrocuted. Another flash breaks out of Tony's chest. Tony becomes even younger, and robots from the future appear on the streets of the city. The Hulk grabs two Triceratops and demolishes a group of robots with dinosaurs. He is attacked by other robots, but Thor destroys them with lightning. Tony asks Thor to take the robots away from the tower. The alarm in the prison compartment turns on in the tower. The captain runs there and sees that the skull chamber is destroyed and the villain himself is nowhere to be found. The door of the compartment is demolished by dinosaurs. The wreckage presses the captain. The skull comes around the corner. He enters the elevator and goes up to Tony. Stark, he asks Jarvis to turn off the elevator, but he reports that the tower systems are damaged. The skull gets out of the elevator and falls, slipping on small balls. He chases Tony, but Stark locks him in the training room and turns on training for Captain America. A lot of metal balls attack the skulls. 
he barely gets out of the training room. On one of the doors, he sees the inscription, do not enter, and opens it. It turns out Thor's room. Thor's pet monster starts chasing after the skull. Tony finds a blueprint for his first armor. The skull finds a crossbow and goes after Tony. The captain comes to his senses and tries to contact Stark. Tony collects his armor, but then a new flash breaks out of the power stone. The Avengers on the streets of the city see a Hydra squadron arriving from the past. The Skull finds Tony and wants to take away the Time Stone. The Skulls attack Captain America. Tony tries to finish the armor. The Skull throws the Captain away and grabs Tony. Stark activates the armor and puts it on. Tony throws the Skulls out of the window with a shot of repulsors and is carried away by pterodactyls. Tony hugs Cap and he takes the Power Stone out of the reactor. The Avengers are surrounded by dinosaurs, robots, and Hydra soldiers on the streets. Barton has the last arrow left. An orange flash erases all the aliens from another time. Stark thanks the captain and he gives him his shield so that Tony can practice. The Avengers attack a group of MII soldiers driving through the desert. The Hulk destroys cars. Thor throws a truck. The soldiers take aim at the heroes. The rest of the Avengers arrive and destroy a column of cars. The last of the soldiers manages to launch a rocket before he is knocked down by a widow. Iron Man shoots down a rocket and returns to friends. Tony's program evaluates the actions of the Avengers 100%. Hawkeye says that the Avengers can do better. Shield planes arrive. Soldiers aim at the Avengers. One of them shoots Tony and he falls to the ground. Shield soldiers attack the Avengers. The Hulk rushes into a fight, but the soldiers brought a Hulkbuster. The robot beats the Hulk and he flies into the car. The captain carries Tony to the Avenger. The shield aircraft carrier hovers over the Avengers from which the fighters fly out. Thor shoots down one and the Hulk catches the plane and lowers it to the ground. The Widow hijacks one of the fighters and tells the Avengers to get inside. The Avengers head to the aircraft carrier to talk to Fury. The captain believes that the shield director was deceived and Hawkeye is sure that Fury was just offended that Barton took his blindfold. The heroes arrive on the aircraft carrier and fight their way out of the hangar into the corridors. Here they are stopped by Fury and the soldiers. Nick says that he dismisses the Avengers. Fury brings the Captain, Stark, Widow and Barton to the bridge. There they see Modok, who controls the mind of Fury and all the agents of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Tony sees a stone in Modok's forehead. Modok uses new powers and tries to capture the mind of the heroes. He is knocked down by Thor's hammer flying through the window. Hell, Thor and the Falcon fly into the bridge. Thor strikes Modok with lightning. A bright flash throws the heroes away. The Avengers come to their senses and realize that they have changed bodies. Modok has disappeared. Barton in the body of Thor tries to lift the hammer but it flies back to Asgard. Fury and the agents come to their senses and open fire on the Avengers. The heroes escape from the bridge. Tony in the body of Barton asks the Widow in the body of the Hulk to break through the door that blocked their way. The Widow breaks through the door. Tony's suit shows the efficiency of the team at 17%. The Falcon in the Captain's body detects the presence of Modok. The Avengers are attacked by Hulkbusters and S.H.I.E.L.D. soldiers. The heroes punch a hole in the skin of the aircraft carrier. Tony in Barton's body shoots the robot with an arrow with oil and he falls and plugs a hole in the board. The Avengers find Modok. He is unconscious. The aircraft carrier begins to wobble. The wall closes access to Modok's body. Modok appears on the wall. He captured the entire aircraft carrier, the Avengers. Split up to find Modok and take the Mind Stone. The Widow, the Captain, Thor, and the Hulk find Modok's body, but the villain rebuilds the ship and the body disappears into a hole in the floor. Tony Barton and the Falcon were almost flattened in the corridor, but suddenly the attack stopped. Barton and Thor's body tell Stark and Hawkeye's body that the Avengers need to fight as if they are in their own bodies and then they will defeat Modok. The heroes find Modok's body and rush to attack. They successfully repel all the villains' attacks. Thor and the Widow's body summons a hammer and strikes the Power Stone with lightning. The stone falls out of the villain's forehead. 
Everything comes back to normal. The Avengers return to their bodies. The Falcon hits the Modoc lying on the floor. The Avengers return to the tower. Fury demands to give him the Mind Stone, but Stark refuses and keeps the stone. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is important to me. The city is being attacked by giant robots. One of the robots is preparing to incinerate a little girl. Hyperion arrives and destroys the robot. Black Hawk puts a bomb on another and it explodes. The third robot is destroyed by the warrior Zarda. Dr. Spectrum arrives, but the robot imprints him into the wall. The speed demon heats the iron joints of the robot and his legs fall off. People greet a team of heroes called the Supreme Squadron. Hyperion shoots beams and eyes at a robot fragment. An energy trap appears and imprisons Hyperion and the others in a solid sphere. An Iron Man in a black and yellow suit arrives. People consider him a villain. Dr. Spectrum destroys Stark's trap. The speed demon runs, dodging shots. He runs through the building and hits Iron Man. Tony falls and is attacked by Zarda. Nighthawk ties Stark and he crashes into Hyperion. Hyperion rips off Iron Man's mask. The crowd hates Stark. Tony frees himself from the ropes and wants to escape. Spectrum, he tries to detain him, but Stark shoots the reality stone in Spectre's palm. For a moment, Stark sees a reality where he is a hero and one of the Avengers, Jarvis, says that this is a spatial anomaly of great power. Tony blows up the remains of the last robot and flies away. Dr. Spectrum regains control of the reality stone. Stark watches the news. Jameson talks about the criminals Hawkeye, Widow, Thor, Hulk, and Captain America. Stark decides to meet with all of them. In the Squadron Tower, Black Hawk tells Spectre that Stark has seen another reality and now he needs to be dealt with. On the roof of the Hawkeye, Zarda and the Speed Demon attack. The warrior throws Barton off the roof. The Falcon picks him up. They fly to Stark's plane together. Hulk and Thor break into the bunker. They were informed that a weapon capable of stopping Hyperion is stored there. While Hulk and Thor are fighting among themselves, a widow enters the bunker and takes the weapon. The cannon falls apart in her hands. Hyperion tears off the roof of the bunker. He wants to kill the heroes. Hyperion shoots down Stark's plane. Hyperion crashes into a mountain. The widow and the rest get on the plane. Tony talks about what he saw when he shot the Reality Stone. He invites everyone to the team to pick up the Reality Stone. Everyone except Thor refuses. Tony directs the Repulsor into the Falcon's face, but the Captain appears and saves Sam. The Captain says that in another reality they were heroes. A Black Hawk on a fighter plane attacks Stark's plane. The Widow takes the helm and destroys the fighter. A Black Hawk jumps out of the plane and attaches a bomb to the windshield of Stark's plane. Iron Man sacrifices himself and takes the bomb away from friends and civilians. The bomb and Stark explode high in the sky. The Avengers plane crashes. Thor and Hulk jump out of it. Thor creates a vortex to slow down the fall. Hulk catches the plane and stops it. Spectre informs Black Hawk that his reality device is almost ready. The Avengers are attacking the Squadron Tower. Thor and Hulk are trying to destroy the building. The Hulk throws a bus and a car into the tower. Zarda and the Speed Demon attack the Hulk and Thor, then throws the warrior away. The Demon creates a funnel around the Hulk. The Hulk begins to suffocate, but then uses Force Clap and throws the Speed Demon aside. The Captain, the Widow, the Falcon, and Barton break into the Spectrum Laboratory. They are attacked by Black Hawk and Hyperion. The Captain throws a shield and knocks a stone out of Spectre's hand. Hyperion raises a shield and shoots the Captain with rays from his eyes. Cap dodges. The rays punch a hole in the wall. Hyperion throws a shield at the Captain and he falls out of the tower. Iron Man picks him up. Spectre's device begins to work and he prepares to put the Reality Stone there. The Avengers begin to disappear. Stark shoots down Spectre. The Captain picks up the stone. While Tony and the others restrain Hyperion and Hawk, the Captain puts the Reality Stone in the car. Reality changes. Thor and Hulk beat Zarda and the Speed Demon. Hawk and Hyperion fly away. 
Activating the bombs planted in the tower, the Avengers' bath will fall on the city. The heroes together stop the fall. The Avengers put the reality stone in the box. In the tower, the Avengers cast lots for who to clean up. The Falcon pulls out a short straw. A signal sounds and Thor says that mail has been delivered to him. Thor received an invitation to a meeting of graduates of the Hall of Knowledge. Hawkeye and Hulk ask to take them with them. Thor opens a portal and all three jump into it. Tony records seismic activity. He informs the Avengers that it was not a simple earthquake. Someone used a space stone that can open portals between worlds. Thor, Hulk, and Barton fly through space, but instead of Asgard, they fall into the abode of Surtur. The heroes fall directly on the demon. Thor asks Heimdall to open a new portal. Thor and his comrades arrive in Asgard. Heimdall says that something prevented him from opening the portal to the right place, that all the worlds are shaking from dark magic. In New York, the captain and the widow rescue people from a burning building. The captain says that the earthquake caused a lot of damage. Together with Natasha, they overturn a barrel of water standing on the roof and extinguish the fire. Thor and his friends enter the Hall of Knowledge. There are portraits of Loki as the best student everywhere. Thor admits that he never finished his school. Barton sees Loki's ghost. Thor and the others rush after him. The doors close behind them. Thor says that now they need to pass the Hall of Knowledge test to get out. The heroes come to the first arena. They are attacked by huge wolves. Thor says that only one of the heroes can participate in the test. The Hulk goes to battle with the wolves. Barton wants to help, but Thor forbids it. Stark, the captain, the widow, and the falcon see a huge portal opening over the city, through which Asgard can be seen. Tony and the others fly to the portal. Stark realizes that Loki is using the space stone to escape from Valhalla. The Hulk deals with the wolves. Loki's ghost appears in the arena. He says that the heroes will have to pass the test from which one tried to protect Thor. The floor under the heroes opens up and they fall into the abyss. Thor catches the Hulk. Barton uses an arrow with a rope. The heroes stand on stone columns. They are attacked by a giant snake. Thor says that this is a Hawkeye test. The archer shoots arrow after arrow at the snake. The snake spits fire in response. Barton destroys the column. That the snake wrapped around and he falls into the abyss. The heroes jump to the floor that has appeared and the passage to the last test opens in front of them. Loki appears in the hall of the last test. He says that the test for Thor is a test of reason. Thor approaches the first statue. The statue asks him a riddle. Thor gives the correct answer and the statue is destroyed. Thor does not guess the riddle of the second statue. He is entangled by roots and pressed to the ground. The statue lowers its huge hammer on Thor's head. Loki's ghost triumphs. Thor cannot lift his hammer. Thor's failure allows Loki to get out of Valhalla. Loki and an army of skeletons appear from the portal. Tony the captain, the widow, and the falcon tie the widow's car to Thor's pet monster and fly to Asgard. Thor guesses the second riddle and the statue crumbles, but the skeletons still attack Thor. Loki releases lightning from his rod, hits Thor with them. Tony and the rest of the Avengers fly into the hall. Loki opens portals from which dead warriors walk. The Avengers fight with skeletons. Tony asks Thor to join the battle. The Falcon returns Thor's faith in himself and he picks up a hammer. Thor throws the hammer at Loki, but he opens the portals and the hammer does not hit him. Finally, Thor directs the hammer exactly into his brother's chest. Loki falls and Thor tears the room with the space stone from his neck. The portal over New York closes. Loki is locked in a cell. Thor in the tower shows the Avengers the prize for passing the tests of the Hall of Knowledge. The Hulk takes a photo of Thor for memory. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is important to me.